What is that? Plant tenor? I'm not going to watch a woman get set on fire. Philistine. Who's the guy with the notebook who can't decide what to do? Her assistant. He's been instructed not to intervene. Spoiler alert, he does. For her, it is literally heartbreaking. Let the games begin. Arrhythmia, high hematocrit, and inconsistent RR variability. You forgot about the fourth symptom, being completely crazy. One man's crazy is another woman's art. Her work explores things like gender politics and self-image. And the pressing issue of shaving your entire body in public while wearing a monkey mask. She saw her mom commit suicide and was abused by her stepdad for years. You say the crazy wasn't motivated. Well, she took that pain and transformed it into art. That's better than a lot of the alternatives. I still vote for nuts. We should run a resting state functional MRI to look for increased activity in the dorsal Nexus. She's not nuts. Monkey mask shaving medium really speaks to you? What speaks to me is she's elevated being full of crap to a genuine art form and made a fortune doing it. People who pay 20 grand for one of her video stills, on the other hand, really do need their dorsal neck side check. Maybe the paint thinner set off an allergic reaction. And without bronchospasm. There was a space heater next to her in the gallery. Carbon monoxide poisoning. It fits. Put her in a hyperbaric chamber. I should have known the gallery wasn't ventilated enough. And if it wasn't for you, we'd be treating her for third degree burns too. That was a mistake. He shouldn't have interfered. I told you I'm sorry. I want to share your commitment, but it's hard for me sometimes. Like when she read your love letters in the middle of the new museum? Yes, I read the New Yorker. That was a year ago, and uh, we're, we're not together anymore. Seriously, you weren't really gonna let that guy set you on fire. He was just a plan to get the crowd going, right? If that's your interpretation, I welcome it. I soon believes explaining her work limits its potential, but between us, he was real and a total dick. No sane person would let themselves be burned alive for the sake of art. My work is meant to force the audience to break with the rational and see things in a new way. Fine. No sane person would let themselves be burned alive to break with the rational. I feel... Luca, hand me the oxygen mask behind you. Luca! Go address the elephant in the room. This is a nanny cam. The reason Luca couldn't decide what to do in the treatment room is the same as in the gallery. He's been told not to intervene. Congratulations. We've become her latest work of art. Sorry. Oh, no. Colonoscopy didn't find the blaze, so we're gonna live by your liver. Oh, no. Luca, please. We need to document everything. Hold this. Just below the celiac artery. No blood. Could it be leaking into her thighs? No swelling, no asymmetry. So where's the blood going? Why are you looking down there? Because I don't like beans. The patient is a fraud. Found a puncture in the dorsal vein of her left foot. Shooting up heroin wouldn't explain Not it. Heroin. She was injecting herself with her own red blood cells. Caused her heart issues, and when her hematocrit evened out, we mistook it for internal bleeding. That must have been a very distinctively shaped and awfully talkative puncture for you to get all of that. The browser history on our laptop helped. She was researching blood doping, among other things. She's researching me? For months. This isn't about creating art in the moment, it's about you. She set you up. Now you're just pissing me off. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't know she researched you. I had no idea she You closed. don't know anything. 
And why are you talking? Please don't take it out on Luca. I'll take it out on whoever I think will irritate you the most. I thought you would understand someone who uses their work to deal with pain. I didn't realize that search engines could look within the soul. You're standing in front of me in a hospital gown. What the hell was the point of this? What personal trauma are you exploiting? I'm sorry. Mining for its artistic potential. My illness. I did the blood doping to intrigue you. But I was already ill. Wait, you're really sick? Why me? Do you know what you have? Yes. So tell him. If I do, there won't be any game for him, and then there won't be any art for us. Why me? I don't answer those questions. You know, there's a lot of games I could play that don't involve dealing with narcissistic, manipulative posers. But this is a puzzle tailor-made for you. You don't know which of my symptoms are real, which are fake, which ones I'm not even telling you about. I know that intrigues you. I figured it was irritated by the paint thinner I poured on me in the gallery. Does this mean something? It's not eczema. And it's not cancer. We're going to have granulomatosis. Biopsy confirmed that what you thought was eczema was actually a swelling of the blood vessels in your skin. It also explains the pancreatitis and the mass in your brain. And it's treatable. Um, what's the treatment? Well, you could do steroids alone to shrink the growth in your brain, but it's much better to add another cause of radiation. Radiation? On my brain? But it made me fuzzy last time. It was harder to work. I'm still slowed down from it. And it'll get worse. But you know, dying can also do a number on your ability to think. I'm sorry, I can't do the radiation. Did I make the wrong choice? Five years. Through every opening, every installation, every day and every night. He was there the whole time. Except the first time you were diagnosed. You broke up with him and you had to go through all of that alone. Maybe that's the real reason you're doing this piece, so that this time you can have him with you. You still could. You made a decision. I changed my mind. Why? Because there are more important things than... Than what? Than your brain? Your abilities? It's where everything comes from. Any meaning in your life. Any happiness. Not all happiness. He's already left once. He's gonna leave you again. You don't need to depend on people who are gonna let you down. If you do this, you're a pathetic hypocrite. You're saying that your whole life, all your work up until him was a pointless... Why are you doing this? 